this is Neil. Yes, I, I was going to Neil as well. Never mind. And what's his job then? He's a plant superintendent. Really? Yes. Bosses the daffodils. Something like that. Really? <laughs> Go on, get down there. Yes. Uh, what's a plant superintendent do? Uh, attend sick cranes. Sick cranes. Sick cranes. Yes. Really? Mm. Is business picking up? Slightly, yes. Because <laughs> my head went, is he talking about the birds or is he talking about the cranes? You're talking about the cranes? That's no. correct, yes. It's very soft spoken. I'm sorry, Paul. I'll no, shout I don't. Up. Pardon? I'll shout up. Do you always does he always talk soft? Yeah, a bit sort of, you know, sex most people say he's got a bit of a sexy sort of voice. It doesn't affect me, <laughs> no. I tell you. It doesn't do a thing for me. <laughs> no, apart from this sexy yes, voice, yes. what other talents does this man have? Oh, well, he's uh, into a bit of scrambling. Really? Yes. Me too. <laughs> Messy, though, innit? Yeah. yeah. All those eggs. <laughs> yeah. Motorcycle scrambling. Oh! Your knees must be under your chin on a scrambler. <laughs> aren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. What else? Um, he does snooker when he gets the time. Really? Yes. A man of many talents. <laughs> Tell me all about the last. Uh, Sandra would be married seven years. Uh, she's a manageress for a large luggage and handbag store. What else you got up to then? Uh, she was a page three girl. <gasps> Not topless. Pardon? Not topless. <laughs> In the Bottomless? <laughs> oh, bottomless. Come on, show us your legs. Go on. Go on, let's have a look at them legs. This was page... Wow! Enough! Enough! This is children's <laughs> television. Right. Enough. Can't get me dad excited like that. My dad watches this. Bye, <laughs> Joe. So, so you were a page three girl? Yeah. Yeah? Did you do a lot of modelling? Oh, um, just a little bit for a short time, but um, it was uh, through a beauty contest in Italy, and my mother was Miss Yorkshire at the same age as I was when I was put on page three, so Fabulous. they tied it up. Yeah, But I wasn't great. in a swimsuit. You was in yeah. a swimsuit, of course. <laughs> Quite right, and a yeah. proper thing for a Yorkshire girl to be That's right. as well. <laughs> Has she any faults, this lovely lady? Yeah, she's one bad woman. First thing in the morning, she's uh, always singing and shouting and dancing around, yeah. <laughs> There's nought wrong with that. So do At I. At six o'clock. <laughs> At six o'clock? Well, all right, then. Now, it is a bit of a problem, that. Who's going to play first? Me. OK, yeah. Mrs. Woman, right. you go and take the front seat, you sit behind and enjoy the game. Let's meet the contestants. And our next Baby Second Dance couple are Mina and Rahul Haria from Kensington, south-west London. Well, looky here. I must say, you look very elegant. Thank you. Thank That's you. quite all right. And it's Mina. Yeah. OK? And now I've got to be very careful on pronunciation here. And um, who's this? Pancho Villa? What's this? <laughs> hey. Hey. I'd, I'd call it a sal. You call it a what? A sal. A sal? What, what is a sal? It's to keep you warm. Um, this is like a coat or, you, you know. Well, how does it you, work? If you bring it open. Yeah? It does a trick. We call it a blanket. <laughs> a thin blanket. A thin blanket, yes. And here you have the Rajiv Gandhi style. <laughs> That's very good, isn't it? That I mean, that you could flash off now and sell Sandiman's port without oh. any problem. <laughs> All you need is the hat. Listen, he's doing a lot of talking, sweetheart. What's his name? Rahul. Rahul. Yes. Rahul. And what does Rahul does do for a living? He's a relaxation therapist. A relaxation <laughs> therapist. It's a posh name for a barman. <laughs> <laughs> Rahul, relaxation. What's that then? You are going to sleep. You are going... Doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> it does when I do it. Oh. Listen, what's his hobbies then? He's a sun worshipper. A sun worshipper? <laughs> You've got a head start on the rest of his son, I'll tell you. <laughs> But you should see the ten I get. It's just not fair to the rest of us, is it? And your lovely lady is called Mina. That's right. All right. And I nice. think she's got the most wonderful smile in the world. <laughs> well, now, who here is going to argue with that, right? <laughs> eh? But, uh, and what does Mina do? Does Mina, have a job? Mina is accounts administrator. Accounts? And you're called Mina? <laughs> <laughs> You're not uh, originally from India, though, although you are Indian. You're, where are you from? Kenya. Kenya? Kenya. Mm. Oh, they're very keen here as well, I tell you, <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, I understand that you are expecting a happy event. Yes, end of May. End of May. 
You're going to buy a dog. <laughs> No, no. no. What, what is it then? A baby. A baby. Ooh, I'm good. Gonna buy one, but yes. And it's you want the way. And you want a baby, do you? Very much. Yeah. We waited six and a half years. Six and a half years. <laughs> really? Our pregnancy is that long in Kenya. <laughs> Fantastic, you know. And, and you relax and all that for the baby. You know all the relaxation stuff. It's important, you know. Yeah. You play music in the background. Yes. Yeah? You have a sitar. Yeah? Uh, You're no. going to have to get one, a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely talking to you, and uh, we best get going before the baby's due. So who's going to play first? Me. Okay, sweetheart, sit in the front. Lovely to meet you. We'll meet the next contest. And our final Every Second Dance couple tonight are Wendy and Stuart Twaddle, and they come from Glasgow. In a little while, you'll be able to watch yourself walking down there, just like we did, okay? And it's Wendy, okay? It oh, yes. All right, Wendy, tell me all about the man. Well, this is my husband, Stuart. Stuart who? Stuart Tweddle. Tweddle? Tweddle. Really? Tweddle? Lovely name. Tweddle. From Glasgow, yeah? There's not Glasgow. many of us about up there. Not many Twiddles. anywhere, I don't think. No, I know a Twiddle. I don't know a Twiddle. Uh -huh, well. No, you know, Twiddles and Twaddles, but we are Twiddle. <laughs> like to be <laughs> What does he do for a living? He's a sales rep. A sales rep? Oh, Twiddle on the pedal. <laughs> yes. And what do you pedal, Twiddle? <sighs> Drugs. <laughs> ah, we get them all out here. <laughs> we really do. What do you mean you pedal drugs? You promote drugs to doctors. So when you go, are you therefore a drugs expert? A drugs expert? Yeah, I mean, when you go, I mean, you've got to face doctors and persuade them your pills are the best. Yeah. So you don't talk twaddle twaddle. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Tell me all about the girl. This is Wendy, my wife. Wendy, my wife. Yep. We've been married ten years. Mm. Two kids. Mm. Scott and Simon. Mm. She used to be a primary school teacher. Oh, well, you like it, dear. The audience is very childish tonight. <laughs> Last week's was much better. Anyway, right. <laughs> Who's going to play first? I am. Stuart. All right, Stuart, lots of luck to both of you. Thank if you go and sit in your respective seats, and we'll have a look at the prizes. They could be winning on Every Second Counts. Well, Paul, tonight's prizes include everything you need for a romantic evening at home. The latest washer-dryer and a bale of luxury towels. Two table lamps with stylish matching tables and a traditionally beautiful Chinese rug. And tonight's star prize is a superb holiday, visiting the fabulous panoramic lakes of northern Italy. To start the show, we've got Mina and Sandra and Stuart. Now, as you know, you get two seconds for every correct answer in the early opening rounds. And then we build, we go through bonuses, and you make up a magnificent clock. And at the end, you play against the clock you've built. It's very simple to start with. It's all about Wimbledon. All right? Are you tennis fans? No. No? Well, it doesn't matter, because this is all about the Wombles. Now, I've got here a list of names, and some of them are real Wombles, and some of them we've made up. Now, if you think this name on here is a genuine Womble of Wimbledon, answer true. And if you think we've invented it, answer false. Okay? We will start with Mina. Oh, sadly, you've probably never heard of the Wombles, have you? <laughs> no. Oh, potluck, that's all it was, sweetheart. Tobamore. True false. or false? False. No, I hate doing that to you. Great Uncle Romania. True. Mac Womble. True. Well, thank goodness somebody <laughs> saved the round. I mean, Sandra let me down badly there. Now, Stuart, you're off to a cracking start and you're way in the lead with two seconds. So, now we start Bonko. True. Well, you're still way in the lead at the end of that round with two seconds on the clock. Stuart and Wayne are winning! Yet another high-speed round in the Every Second Counts game. And we're going to start with Sandra this time. All right. Uh, what's this? This is all about pastimes. Not past times. Things that pass the time. Called pastimes. Uh, games and stuff. Oh, this is a goodie. You tell me whether you need a ball to play these games or not. Answer ball or no ball. Okay? Polo. Ball. Very good. Ice hockey. No ball. Very good. Lacrosse. Ball. Great. Badminton. Uh, no, false. <laughs> I said, there must be
be something about that middle chair. We've noticed on previous games people crack up when they sit there. No ball. False was doing. Okay. Curling. No ball. Roulette. No ball. Oh, roulette. You spin the little ball, yes. don't you? Yes. You're obviously uh, a clean living lady who <laughs> doesn't gamble at all, and we're proud of you. Uh, Sandra, deck tennis. No ball. Sorry? Hurling. Hurling. Hurling, eh? Hurling. <laughs> no ball. <laughs> hurling. What's that? Uh, what's hurling? I thought it came from up your way. Is that a hockey type thing? It's a what? A hockey type thing. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I just read them, love. I don't know what they are. I mean, I'm not clever. <laughs> if I was clever, I'd be a contestant, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. Sandra. Pelota. Ball. And you're in the lead with eight seconds on your clock. I hear the sound that tells me it's bonus time. Ten seconds if you answer very quickly, because the seconds tick away. And on this game, every second counts. Mina and Rahul. Books, Living World and Pop Music. Living World. Living World. Okay. Wish you lots and lots of luck here. How many spots are there on a common ladybird? 18, 36, 10, 10. 110, 40, 12, 55, 1, 100, 6, 000. 7, 8, 9. What? Was there a 7 in there? There was a 7 in there which stopped it on one second, but every second counts. That was the way to play that round. Very good. Yeah. Only seven. What were you shouting about, Rahul? Hey, 15,432, where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> Who's next? Stuart and Wendy. Books and pop music. Pop music, please. Oh. Is that Stuart? <laughs> pop music, anyway. Uh, who is the singer-guitarist with Ultravox? Mitchell. Oh, stopped it on 10, 10 with a video. That's good. Mitchell. Aye. That's How did you know? He comes from Glasgow. He comes from what? Glasgow. Does he now? Not far away from where He's not your dad, is he? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Everybody would think it was a fiddle if it was. Sandra and Neil have been left with books, okay? You've been left with books. In the croquet game in Alice in Wonderland, what creatures were used as the balls? Rabbits. Mice. Um, Mice, rats. Uh, uh, tortoises. Snakes. Um, snakes. Lions, lions, tigers, tigers elephants. elephants uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Hedgehogs. <laughs> oh, this is Franglais, because you know the French. Well, you probably don't know this. The French have been nicking some of the English words, you see, stealing them. Right. And what you've got to do is tell me whether these words are commonly used in France. All right? Or not. And if you think they are, you answer oui. And if you think they're not, you answer no. All right? Weekend. No. Oui. They really do. They call it le weekend. Yeah. Now, Sandra, you're on your own. How's your father? No. collector and all that jazz. Stuart. I've got to come to you. I'm reading these because I'm amazed. Blue jeans. No. We oui. advert everywhere. Sandra's in now in charge. Chance to catch up with Crafty Stewart, who's crept ahead. Jam butty. No. Hmm. Rose beef. No. We. Oui. The Francais. Oh, <laughs> they love it. The rose beef. And Stuart's still in the lead with 16 seconds on the clock, but Sandra's got 12, Mina's got three. Let's give them all a big round of applause. They change their seats over. <laughs> New people in the driving seats. We've got Rahul and Neil and Wendy. Four seconds of time will be added for correct answers, and this is all about pop groups. I bet you're a big pop group fan, eh, Rahul? Yeah, <laughs> me neither. I tell you, I look down here, I didn't know anybody.
But uh, they come from the swinging 60. <laughs> I never did any swinging. Did you know swinging, Neil? A bit. A bit? No. Oh. <laughs> anyway, where are we? To test your memory. Here, yeah, you've got to tell me whether the, I put the right singer with the right group. <laughs> I'll read these carefully because I don't know myself. True if this is correct, Rahul. Freddie sang with the Dreamers. True. Good answer. Gary Puckett sang with the Union Gap. True. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Eric Burden sang with the Kinks. False. Yeah, sang with the Animals. That was a great group. See, I do know something about pop. Lulu sang with the Brothers. True. No, it was the Lovers. Oh, never mind. Neil, Paul Jones sang with Manfred Mann. True. Yep. Georgie Fame sang with the Rebel Rousers. False. Billy J. Kramer sang with the Mind Benders. False. Who did he sing with then? Dakotas. <laughs> you little raver from the 60s. <laughs> I think I've done a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Emil Ford sang with the Checkmates. True. Listen, pardon? I had to think about that one. <laughs> Wendy, you're not old enough to remember these. <laughs> a good good make <laughs> What did you say? I said it's good makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's in big trouble tonight, <laughs> don't you? I'll call them when I get them home. Right. Last one for Neil. Jerry sang with the pacemakers. True. Very good. Joint leaders, Neil and Wendy, 28 seconds each. <laughs> Sex rears its ugly head again because you have to tell the difference between men and women here. Can I remember? <laughs> Try. Right, now I've got a list of, of uh, well-known people, okay? I'll read them out and you tell me whether I've coupled them with somebody of the same or somebody of the opposite sex. So if I read two names out and they're the same sex, say so. Say same. And if they're different, say they're different. Bonnie Tyler and Bonnie Prince Charlie. Same. No. Oh, she's a singer. And she goes, oh, I think like that. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Neil, Jesse James and Jesse Owens. Same. Shirley Temple and Shirley Crabtree. False. Not the same. Aye, eventually you were there. <laughs> Different. That's all you need to say. <laughs> Do you know, I, I don't, I don't, wouldn't have got that. Yeah. Pat Cash and Pat Phoenix. Different. I'd have got that one, because I'm clever sometimes. <laughs> Yves Saint Laurent and Yves Monton. Same. Yes. I mean, in this country, we don't know about Yves Monton. Fabulous box office everywhere else. Neil, George Elliot, and Boy George. Same. <laughs> Wendy, you're in charge of the round, and you're in the lead already. Gene Wilder and Gene Alexander. Uh, different. Yes. Evelyn War and Auburn War. Same. Jerry Hall and Jerry Lewis. Different. Yes, but the same figure. <laughs> right, and you're in the lead with 48 seconds on the clock. Okay, we are going to play the bonus round. And on here I've got three subjects. As always, Rahul and Mina will now confer. And choose general knowledge, sport or film. General knowledge. General knowledge. Okay. Now, which princess is the sister of the Duke of Kent? Caroline. Princess uh, Anne. Um, the one in Monte Carlo. Come on, Mina. Grace. Um, Alexandra. Princess Alexandra. So, Neil and Wendy, I'm going to go to Neil first with sport or films? Films, please. Films, okay. In which James Bond film was the enemy agent played by Robert Shaw? Moonraker. Uh, 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 
Doctor No. Um, Doctor. Uh, oh dear. Blank. Uh, no. From Russia. With, with love. love. Preferably. <laughs> However, Wendy and Stuart have been left on their own now with sport. Okay, sport. In which sport is there a movement called a telemark? Dance. Stick Archery. Oh, snooker, bas Poker. basketball, hockey, volleyball. <laughs> you were very close with snooker. It's skiing. <laughs> well, sorry about that. Nobody scored anything in the bonus rounds, but when the Stewart, therefore, are still in the lead, they've got 48 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Here we go. These are all London bridges. I read out the name of a bridge. You tell me individually whether it's in London or not. And it fits over the River Thames, okay? That's important. Over the River Thames in London. If it's not, say it isn't. If it is, say it is. Here we go. Yes or no? Tower Bridge. Yes. Yes, it is. Neil, Chelsea Bridge. No. Yes, it is. Thames Bridge. Yes. No, it isn't. Rahul. You've got 11 seconds on the clock. Let's try Knight's Bridge. No. Battersea Bridge. Yes. Waterloo Bridge. Yes. Trafalgar Bridge. No. Hungerford Bridge. No. Yes, it is. You couldn't have got there anyway, but it was a fabulous run to come home with, Rahul. It really was. Excellent. That's but that leaves Wendy and Stewart in the lead with 48 seconds and this week's winners. Come on, Wendy. Well, that was a good game. Came home with a low score, too. 48 seconds. You are going to have to be moving when we get to that final <laughs> game, I tell you. Yes, you'll have to speed him up some more. I don't know how you're going to do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, other players. Yes, Neil and Sandra, you were great, okay? Rahul and Mina, uh, I, I almost feel like I should apologise to you. You just hit a week when we had some questions that were related to old England and all that. But you've been fabulous company. Really good company. We've enjoyed it. And you get the clock and all that jazz. And you and you and I are going to play the final game where hopefully you'll be taking away a couple of these prizes. Well, Paul, tonight's winners could be sharing a romantic evening at home with smoked salmon, pink champagne from beautiful glasses and chocolates and roses. Or there's the very latest washing machine and combined tumble dryer, plus luxurious towels. No sitting room would be complete without these two table lamps and matching tables, plus this beautiful Chinese rug. And tonight's star prize is a magnificent get-away-from-it-all holiday to Italy and Lake Como. The Italian Lake District provides breathtaking views, world-famous wines, and exciting nightlife, making this a truly memorable holiday. Really good. Well, it's a long way to go in 48 seconds. It has been known, it can happen, and you can do it. Okay, Stuart? Right. We're going to think positive here, all right? <laughs> and positively light up Wendy and say, Wendy, you will be the first one to answer the questions when we get there. You're going to play... Did you hear the fella there? Okay. Smoked salmon, pink champagne, glasses, roses, chocolates, everything for a romantic evening together. Okay? Pleasure. After that lot, you wouldn't be romantic, would you? <laughs> Look at the bottles of plonk. Anyway, right. So what we're going to do? We are going to play the game. As you know, you have to get four right, then five right, then six right, then seven right. Yep. Yep. Yes. Good you can do it. Say yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. Right. So first you've got to choose a category. The categories I have on offer are books and politicians. Books. Books. All right. Which of the following books were written by Graham Greene, which by Robert Ludlum, and which by Stephen King? All right. I give you the titles. You answer. Greene, Ludlum, King. That's all I need. Four right answers, put four lights out. And we start with Wendy. Now, Brighton Rock. Green. Yes, Carrie. King. Yes, Third Man. Ludlum. No, The Scarlatti Inheritance. Green. No, The Holcroft Covenant. Ludlum. Yes, The Shining. King. That's it, that's it. Put them all out. Very good. Second place. Then you've got a romantic evening together with our 
special party affair. Smoked salmon and champagne, as we said, the glass of the chocolate rolls. Oh, oh, it's all going to be very <laughs> slushy in Glasgow. Isn't it? Yeah? Great. Wendy will be starting with you again. You're going to try to win a washer dryer with the luxury towels, yes? And they are luxurious as well. Very soft when you rub your wetness all over them. Right. Of course, first of all, as you well know, my lovely, you have got to do yourself a favour. You have got to choose a category. Let's hope you pick the one you know all about. It's geography or events. I think it has to be events. 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 It can't be geography, <laughs> so it must be events. <laughs> okay. Wendy, this is all about a list of events and days. In the uh, special days. And you just tell me whether they are normally, okay? We know sometimes they creep over the edge, but normally, are they in November or April or June? Okay? Right. So you just answer November, April, June. 38 seconds left, five to put out, okay? Got to go fast, starting with Wendy. Now, bonfire night. November. Yes, Remembrance Day. April. No, Trooping the Colour. June. Yes, St George's Day. April. Yes, Start of Wimbledon. June. Yes, the Grand National. November. No, Thanksgiving. June. No, Royal Ascot. April. No, Kennedy Assassination. November. Yep, that's it, you've done it. You've won the washer, the dryer, the luxury towels, and of course you'll be able to still keep our romantic evening. It's all looking good, but we've only got 21 seconds left on the clock. That means Stuart will be starting this round, and we're going to now offer you one of the finest prizes I think we've ever had. Certainly one of the most tasteful prizes we've ever had. They are beautiful, that pair of earrings. Oh, no. No, they, they're lamps. But the, the tables go with them, those beautiful Chinese-style tables, and the Chinese rug. Very nice indeed. But as always, you've got to choose a category, and you're going to do that now. Confer on the category, but not afterwards. The categories are film actresses or rock albums. Film actresses. Film, film actresses. actresses. You didn't sound too enthusiastic about either of those. <laughs> However, never mind. The following films starred either Barbara Streisand or Vanessa Redgrave or Maggie Smith. You must tell me, and you must tell me quickly, which actress was in which film? Answer, Streisand, Redgrave, or Smith. Okay? Correct answers. That's all it needs to put those lights out. I know it's not easy when you've, you've got six to put out, but you've got 21 seconds, and we don't want to waste one single second of that time. For the lamps, we're starting with Stuart, and your time goes now. A star is born. Streisand. Yes, the net prime of Miss Jean Brody. Smith. Yes, Camelot. Redgrave. Yes, Murder on the Orient Express. Smith. No, the way we were. Redgrave. No, California Sweet. Smith. Yes, Julia. Streisand. No, Funny Girl. Streisand. Yes, A Room with a View. Redgrave. No, Funny Lady. Streisand. That puts them all out. And you've got four seconds left on the clock. A superb prize. The lamps, the tables, the carpet, and the champagne, and the roses and everything. And nobody could possibly ever get anything more in four seconds. I really don't believe that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for each one of those four seconds. I'll give you the 20 pounds anyway. Because right. you yeah. would have got them right, wouldn't you? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we'll say, yes, Paul, yes, Paul, yes, Paul. Yes. yes, but with 80 pounds, you can afford the chips to go with the salmon and the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That'd be great. You've been a great couple of contestants. You really have. Sorry you didn't get all the way to the top prize, but as I can see from here, it's beautiful for you. We've enjoyed your company enormously. If you've enjoyed ours, yes, well, please. you can watch yourselves on this program. And you can watch it again next week. It's called Every Second Counts. Goodbye. <laughs>
On Sunday night, a new family quiz show comes to BBC One when Tom O'Connor puts questions on the subject of entertainment to celebrities from the world of show business. His regular team captains will be Ken Dodd and Larry Grayson. And Little and Large, Bernard Breslau and Linda Nolan will be facing a question of entertainment this Sunday at 7.15. Now, it's a question of dynasty with The Interview. <laughs> 